Can you put a hand up if you have heard or seen these three letters, N, F, T, and have no idea what they mean? Yeah, yeah, guys, congratulations, you're in the right place, you arrived, I'm going to take care of you today. <laughs> because the purpose of the talk is to demystify it and to make this piece of technology closer to your life. Now, I'm going to tell you a story. One time, I showed up at my grandpa's club, grandpa's house, actually, and he asked me, so, kid, what's new today? And honestly, like, I don't know when he made me his personal customized newsletter feed, <laughs> but that day there was something truly bothering me. It was kind of on my head and I could not get rid of it. And I told him, Grandpa, you know, the world is going crazy. I mean, it seems like there is a new clone dike in the internet. They call it NFTs, and they sell it for millions of dollars. Like, I get the fear of missing out every time I read news now. And then, you know, there is also another thing to these NFTs. Like, everybody's saying that is, they're going to revolutionize the world. And then Bill Gates, Bill Gates says, well, it's a game of a greatest fool. So who am I to decide and who, whom to trust? I, Grandpa, I truly feel like it's not for me. I, I truly feel like I should step back and, you know, naturally let it be and have my own life. And then my grandfather reached out. He grabbed my hand. He looked straight into my eyes. And he asked me, Honey, why do you think I feel old? Well, now, grand my grandpa is 86, and I think it's a natural behavior, nat natural phenomena. And I told him, Grandpa, you're 86, and it's natural to feel like that, that way. You're good. <laughs> it's okay. He said, no, 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 no. Then he pointed at my phone. And he said, I feel old because I don't care about that anymore. And then it kind of dawned on me. Like, I'm entering my grandpa's club now. If I start, you know, obeying, being skeptical, ignoring new technology. And that day, the journey of recovering from being NFT hater began for me. And today, I think your journey begins too. My name is Tatiana, and I want to tell you about one really important thing in business. It's called a business iceberg. My mentor, Eric Admits, tells us that a business iceberg is like a hidden threat in the industry. You know, it may be a new law or a new competitor, or in most cases, it's new technology. And guess what? NFT is a pretty big iceberg. Three billion dollars would it be already. And it's going to quadruple in the next five years. Think about your career, your business, and life in general. This is a pretty big iceberg to crush to. And I want to remind you that Titanic crushed, not because the iceberg was big or because there were so many in the ocean. Titanic crashed because it was too late to pivot. It was too late to change. And now I'm going to give you good news. It's still, there is still time to change. There is still time to pivot. And there is still time for you to jump on this train and get and understand NFTs. Now, a big mistake that I've done in the beginning of my journey is that I did this. Watch carefully. You don't want to do that. <laughs> because first of all, there are going to be so many opinions in the world that you're just going to balloon your mind. What, what source to trust, first of all? Secondly, where to begin? Like, there are so many questions. This is such a huge mountain to, to, to tackle. But I'm going to give you three simple steps that will help you on your journey. And the first step is to simply look at this topic through the right prism. And the prism is your own life. What matters to you the most? Maybe it's your career, your business, 
your personal interest. There is a great photographer in the room, and he doesn't need to know how gamers will use NFTs in their lives. He needs to understand how photographers use NFTs, how they monetize it, how they protect their photographies, photographs, and their work with NFT. Now, I can tell you how I got into blockchain, and it wasn't voluntarily. Uh, one day I received an email from my university that said, congratulations, you got your diploma. <laughs> and I was thinking about something. Yeah, I'm going to schedule now the time when, I go, when I'm going to go to campus and receive my paper diploma. And then I will go home and call my parents and show it to the camera. Instead, I got a link that showed me that. I mean, it's not bad, but I expected something more. <laughs> and then I saw one word in the email. And it said, your diploma is powered by blockchain. Yes. That moment, I knew three things for sure. It is secure, it is transparent, and it is authentic. And I'm good. If my diploma has all this criteria, I'm good to use it. I'm good to show the certificate that is attached to the diploma, and everybody's going to see that there's my name, there's the university of my name, this is powered by blockchain, and if they don't know, I can explain it easily, just like I did now, and they see the date, the date of issued document. Isn't it phenomenal? And now I know I've been holding you in intrigue what NFT actually is, and I think that you're now prepared to know what it is. So basically, it is a file, any file, video, audio, text, 3D model, whatever, that has a link to a special ownership record. And that ownership record is created by blockchain. This is kind of, blockchain is a big ledger that writes down everything that happens to NFT every single time something happens. No one can change it, no one can modify it, there is no way not to see that, and that, on a large scale, creates a network. Network of people who can produce NFTs, a network of NFTs in themselves. And where the value lies is that people now have a tool to transfer, to trade, to show and prove ownership records to intellectual property, to data, to information in the digital world. This is the solution that we have been waiting for since the invention of the internet. And finally, we've got this. Now, I will show you some NFT use cases that are happening right now. First of all, we all want to control our own medical prescriptions and test verifications. And we want to know where the data is used, how it's used, and also we want to show entities that it's legit, like, I've got my test, I've got my prescription, you can check it out. We also want to understand how to improve tickets and event, events trading and industry. Like, for example, tickets to TED today could be an NFT. Like easily, next year, probably, you could do that. And you, if you thought that it's a, it's, that's, that's all, that was only the tip of the iceberg, like, watch this. Meditate on this slide now. Like, look at this. If you think that NFT is not going to touch you in your time soon, you probably will find yourself on this list. Or if you, like, I, I have a test for you. If you use information, if you transfer information, if you use data, if you give data, if you need data, and if you make money on information and intellectual property, probably NFT is the next solution that you will be looking for in your career, business, or life. Like, that's the deal. The second step of navigating through NFTs in your life is to participate. Participate in talks like this and participate in conversations with your peers who are so passionate about this topic that they can't even shut up. Like, those are your guys. Those are your teachers. They're the best source. They will tell you everything that you need to know. And they will be the best guides on your journey in the beginning. And third, I want you to embrace. To embrace, embrace what exactly? Well, you're gonna feel scared. 
in the beginning, like truly gut-wrenching, uncomfortably afraid, because it's gonna be out of your comfort zone, out of your warm red circle of comfort zone. <laughs> and definitely, when your money is gonna be involved in that, you will think a million times before you make any decision. So today, I will show to you a feeling that you have felt all your life when you did something new for the first time, but you never actually understood what you were doing. You were feeling is curiosity. And curiosity, I want you to embrace curiosity in the process of navigating through NFTs, through blockchain, through Web3, and any new technology that is going to come after it. Because, you know, to be honest, technological evolution never ever stopped or reversed itself. Like with every year that we leave, something new happens. Those hackathons and incubators, they come up with something new as we speak right now. And I guarantee you, the change is gonna come sooner or later. That iceberg will show up on the horizon in your life. And I want to see that. I want to see that clearly. And I want you to not underestimate it. I want you to know that it is exactly what you've been looking for, this is exactly what you've been preparing for, and now you can correct your course, or you can go straight to it and crush it because you've been prepared. And I also want to tell you, I want to brag about my grandparents. This picture was taken the day when I was leaving my home. Three days before that, they approached me and asked them to buy, wait for it, Smartphones. What? Say what? <laughs> I could not believe my ears. But then they figured out how to do video calls. And now, every Sunday at 2 p.m., we have video calls. And it's amazing. And don't I even dare to miss one of them. I'm so proud of them and I want to be proud of you. And I want you to be proud of you as well. Thank you so much. It was my pleasure talking to you today.